Hey everybody, welcome back to the final day of the Barobu Clash. We are currently 57-361, and the top player is currently at 96k. And Sergeant Bosco, we mentioned him last video, he's still up there rocking number two. So looking good. And hey, one thing I just wanted to jump in and add real quick. So coming next week, to give you an idea of what's coming up, they are doing a rerun of the Kif Melee, which you got to see before. And they will also be running a Peggy Melee at the same time. So I already have two decks prepared for this. And I will be doing another dual event Melee series. So we had Clash and then the Burger Boss this week. But now we will be having the Kif Melee and the Peggy Melee side by side dual event videos next week. So I look forward to that. Let's get back into it. If you remember from our last video, we were just running a 35 card PC deck. And that is what we're going to do again because we are in the high levels. Seems to be a lot of PC spam, and if it loses, it loses, and that's the way it rolls. So let's jump right into this, and then we can get to the Burger Boss Challenge after. Speaking of that, look who we get. Sergeant Bosco himself. Now, what type of disgusting deck is he running? We are doing one-man band, but will it be Lonely Lacrosse? Will it be something like PhD Peggy, which is absolutely brutal? We are going to need to just hope we don't die because we're going to die to payback there. That is brutal. We can do... We can do just one man band. PhD Peggy is super good combo. I use it a lot even personally. But this much boosted payback and punch might just be impossible to get through. Because it's ridiculous. I mean with these boosted values, 63... It's actually one of the combos that I'm really surprised that I don't see many people use. And I'm not sure why. A lot of people went into the PTA Treasure Linda box, but not, I don't see a lot of people use PhD Peggy. And personally, I think this is much stronger because the sturdy or the bunker is better than the sturdy. So, well, we are going down here because that is just too hard to beat with a bunch of PCs. We're not really looking to go against combo decks. We're really just looking to go against PC spam. So GG on that battle. Let's take a look here. All right, this is more up our alley. And of course, four out of our five cards are not the card we need there. But we might be able to hold on nonetheless. We do draw another one man band. So that is good. And this is the whole reason we're playing our PCs, because we are just anticipating the enemy. I guess our opponent, they're not the enemy, it's not that intense to play their own PCs. So we may take out slot one here, depending on how much they cripple us. It's actually looking pretty good. We can get one more hit off, which... We probably won't with the cripple alls. Yeah, we definitely won't. Okay, never mind. We do get one more hit off. But it slowly dwindles, and look at that. It's just barely going to hang on there. Because we'll do the hijack, but then it'll keep getting continually crippled down. So we'll just have to get outside of it. Alrighty. They're not doing anything too threatening. We could do Abelard. Go ahead and get him now. We'll just do Clumsy. We'll start to skip because there's not going to be really anything going on. We also have more cards than them, which is good. Could do Abelard here, but we'll just do our Clumsy. We'll just play whatever shows up in this first slot because that'll be good enough for us. Until we get to the very end. This is the type of enthralling gameplay you have signed up for. And by you, I mean me. By playing this deck. To guarantee my victory. Because I just don't want to play any of the clash combos. Actually, I don't know if any of them want to survive this. Well, I guess with uh, the Roger toy drunk combo. It would have had gas and it might have been able to get lucky cripples. Maybe. Just a big maybe. They're getting close to almost out of cards. We still have plenty here. Oop. 
And basically, it's just impossible for them to break through for anybody wondering what's going on. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't show it, but each one of these one-man bands has shield all. So, more or less, every card we place down is going to have like over 100 shield at this point. Plus the cripple from all the one-man bands. Just placed our Abelard, so we'll have cheer all as soon as we get to the outside. They are out of cards. They won't be able to play anything. And we will be able to continue on past them. And we'll start playing Clumpsy. Plus the Cheer All. So their health will start to drop pretty quickly. And there we go. That takes it. It's loading all those cards getting dragged back, which is funny. Looking good. Okay, we have a 35 card deck, which is foul. So just hopefully, okay, never mind, not foul in that second slot. Let's take a look real quick. Let's take a guess what they're playing. Ooh, probably Sig Addicts, not Sig Addicts, Boy Craze Luis, which is actually really good for us because it doesn't really do additional damage. We will need to get it crippled down. Okay, so they're comboing. So it's a 35 card deck, but it is combo, so that's good. Now, hopefully, after this, this will be shielded for like 25. Hopefully this doesn't get an attack on me. Okay, it's fourth day. I thought they were going to do Sig Addicts there. Keep doing more one-man bands to really beef up our wall here. Because this boy craze Luis has... Quite a lot more craze than our hijack and this combo even this pc has some of the most hijack in the game okay well actually we could start chipping away at their health let's take a look so it'll cripple down for 50 60 plus this will have 50 shield we might go ahead and do one more one man band just to be safe and then we'll start chipping away at them So each card is going to have 47 shields. So actually this won't break through. It shouldn't. Just double check. Okay. Just had to make sure there. Now we should be good to go. Plop down two Abelards. And now start. Actually we'll just spam one man band. Just to make sure nothing gets through. Because they do have punch. But we have cheer all. So it'll start to wear on them. Guess we can play Plumsy as well. Doesn't really matter. And this should be the final one. We will skip because there's still a lot of animations. And we take it against a kill all humans member. Which that is pretty good. But they are also running a lot of PCs. Which is what we are built to take on right now. This is all PCs. This is 35 cards of Food Addict Leela. So good luck to us. I don't think we win. Just because I think the shield all builds up over top of how much damage we'll do. Yeah, we already don't do enough damage. So I'm pretty sure this is just GG from the start. Because I didn't have any uh, cards that could gas this first slot. I could have brought that along. But I wasn't trying that hard. I'm pretty sure it's all PCs. I don't think there's anything else. So we can still speed through. Okay, never mind. They do have Poplar Addict, which doesn't really give us much of a chance here for anything. They don't gas me, do they? 36. They will have Cheer All. I mean, eventually will I break through? I don't think so. We'll start spamming one-man bands. Let's see what happens. We'll bring you along for the ride. Like I mentioned, I don't think this is beatable. 
And PC versus PC like that. We were not winning, unfortunately. Uh, we can beat this. So, this is all Gallant Bender and uh, Limo Bob. A lot of motivate, but we should be okay. We are just hijacking away. The Gallant Bender does have some leech. That's not a big deal. So if anything, we'll probably take out the Limo Bob because they're not crippling us back. So we'll continue to do damage on them. I mean, their hero's doing a little bit to us, but not that much. Picked a really good day to go all PCs though. Just because everybody we're getting is also running PCs. I did not include anything in my deck to deal with Red Derp's deck, but you know, hindsight 2020, I wasn't expecting to get him, but maybe next time, Clash, we will run a slightly modified deck to try to be able to beat his deck as well, which that would be pretty clutch to get that on video as well, especially during a Clash where his deck is boosted. But typically, if you're running into Fred anyways, that's only in Arena or Clash. And if you're running into him at Arena, his deck is also boosted because of the level it is at. Should be getting close to beating Limo Bob here in the slot. Okay, we took out slot one. I was focusing on slot two. But we take out both. So now they are falling behind. So we'll just skip. We'll go ahead and do Abelard for that Chiral. We'll do Clumsy. Yeah, they're just falling to pieces here. Gallant Bender's a pretty neat combo as well for Motivate. And Limo Bob, also pretty neat. But we take it down. I think that was our last battle? No, it was not. Ignore that. We have one more. <laughs> Do we get a PK deck? That would be great. Now this is a... Oh, I was gonna say this is foul. Never mind. This is Sammy G. And leave it up to a kill all humans to set a PC defense deck. Yeah, he actually set a defense deck, which that's pretty crazy. Mostly because I don't think these clashes are that serious. But okay, we're not really surviving here. Because they're doing so much attack on this slot 14 we are hanging on a little bit <laughs> barely barely hanging on uh, we're actually hanging on they're not comboing we're just playing more one-man bands and hoping we need to find a way to break through though they're just playing a lot of Rogers. We're just skipping mostly. We need to build up our one-man bands just to make sure none of this other stuff breaks through. Actually, if they combo, we do have a chance of winning here. So that's very good. So I'm not going to skip. I might speed up the video and get to the point where they combo. But we want them to combo so we can get out ahead of them. Okay, welcome back. I was probably fast forwarding along there, but good news. They have comboed one time. It, it's it gone, but it'll, it'll come back. They've comboed one computer game wine Roger. So that is good. So what that means is we are one step closer to being out ahead of them. We need them to combo one more time. So I will wait till the AI decides to do that. And I will fast forward to that point. Alrighty. 
Here it is. Combo number two. We have 134 shield on that one man band, so we should be okay. Look at that. This is clean. So now we can officially skip. And they've got nothing on us. Because we have our Abelard out ahead. And now we can start motivating into the slot ahead of it. Which will start chipping away damage as you can see. And no matter what we play. Our Abelard will keep sheer all. Go ahead and do, do our next Abelard to finish it a little quicker. And then go back to Clumsy. Yeah, they're trying to combo still. Won't do anything. And that ends the game. We will give it one skip. Oh, they have an Eggnog Roger there. We will give it one skip. And that is a win against a defense 35 card PC deck. With a mixture of combos as well. This has been an absolutely dominating day. We are up to 81k. That is not too bad. And look at this. We faced number two and number three on the, the ranking leaderboard for this event. We beat Sammy G. We lost to Sergeant Bosco. Now, the decks we played are their arena deck, for people that don't know. So the deck we faced from Sergeant Bosco is if we went to the arena, and it's the last deck he played in arena. That's the deck we get. That's not the deck he was using for Clash. Sammy G, we did also get his last arena deck, but he set that specifically for this event. And there's a good chance he also is probably using it for the event as well. So that is pretty stinking good. Let's take a look. I don't think we're in top 100. I mean, we might just be like glimpsing in there. Oh, we are. We are actually just hanging in there at 83. Now there's a good chance that a lot of people will get above. Hey, I could look, the cutoff's right here at 81,000. So we actually did pretty stinking good, if I do say so myself. So before we celebrate too much, let's jump over to the Burger Boss Challenge. And as you can see, I used all of my refills or points or whatever you want to call them. And they gave us six more. So we'll get six more every day. So this will be the last Burger Boss that I show you guys because I'm just doing it alongside the Clash. It's really just a rinse and repeat type thing. So we can take a look at the rankings. Top is up here. And these are the people that also received a lot of extra attacks most likely. We have uh, 198, which you can see there. So if I do win out uh, all the rest of the days, there's 10 days left. I do believe I get just over 350,000. I've had a couple of losses just testing. And I really could have just played it safe, but I'll do the math and I'll pick it out. So let's go ahead and we'll just do, we'll do a couple of these real quick. You saw them in the last video, so it's not like it's something way too new. But we'll do our salt dolphin just one more time for people who do enjoy the burger boss. We're going to jump down. Level 14 is pretty good. We'll play that one. Not too much risk of losing. It's possible. We do pull our Mythic Archer, which is pretty good. And it one-shots, so that is all we need to see. I guess we didn't need to do our film scissors because it'll hijack some of it. Yeah, so these boosted bodyguard and sturdy values are super strong. So that is something we could technically lose to. But we are clutching it up here, so nothing to worry about. Another 5,200 points. Let's go back down to level 14 again. Play that one more time. Oh, we got our Mythic Archer. That is pretty good. And we got our Coast Guard Bomb. The best combo we can make. That is a lot of damage. 21 burn, 47 punch, plus our base attack. Not something to be messed with. And we are just crushing right through there. We are going to win it on this next one. And we will combo up. And we take it. And we will call it good on the burger boss. Again, just a lot of rinse and repeat. But you guys kind of get the idea. And if you guys are playing along, hopefully you're getting all your milestones and getting all your rewards. So that is the end of the Barobu Clash and the end of the videos for the burger boss challenge. I think we did really good. Currently ranked number 86. So glad how that turned out. 
Glad that it all it took was a PC deck just to win. So that's all you need, I guess. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.